<laughs> so what you're telling me is you had no lifeguard experience prior. Oh, to- absolutely not. I would be the worst lifeguard on earth. Malibu Rescue is definitely a great show to watch during quarantine. It's fun and it's exciting and, you know, it's just a really good, feel-good show. Our kind of like slogan is that it's a kid's Baywatch in a way. Um, but I think it's great for kids because there's nothing cooler than I think being a lifeguard and kids love seeing people on the beach and rescuing people and doing crazy stunts. Um, but it's definitely very family friendly that I think even the parents can enjoy. Um, yeah, and we just had a great time filming it and I just think it's a, it's a great show. If you want to feel good, you want to be happy, you want to be on the edge of your seat sometimes, you want to laugh. There's definitely all of that in there and there's some subtle like teen romance, which is always cute. So I think it has everything that anybody would want in the show. Oh yeah, so we've been doing Malibu Rescue for a while and I think Malibu Rescue has been the one project that has pushed me um, more than any other project. Uh, it's taught me how to one kind of stay in character and during weather and crazy situations like that, um, how to kind of push through and um, no matter the circumstance and the weather and stuff like that, how to stay in character. Um, I also think it kind of pushed me because I didn't think I was anything like Dylan at first and it kind of took me a while to figure out myself. So I think as Dylan grows in the movies and the series, I feel like I was growing as a person. So we were kind of developing together in a way. Um, I just think it's changed me a lot as a person and as an actress. And I feel like there's so many new things that I know now that I've learned from set and working every single day with you know, amazing writers that I definitely did not know before. I think Amal the Rescue taught me how to kind of let go um, as a person and as an actress. Um, I was definitely terrified when I was on set when we did the first movie. I was like, don't look at anybody, don't talk to anybody, don't do anything, like just show up and work. Um, and then by the time we did the series and I was so close to the director and the writers, everybody's like, just just let loose, just like give 100% into this like weird character. We know you think you're nothing like her, but like just trust us, just try to give her 10,000% and like see what the outcome was. And I mean, I was in a dolphin costume, like being birthed out. Like we did crazy stuff on that show that definitely pushed me to my limits, um, but also kind of taught me how to let go and just you know, fully give in to a character, even if I think she's like super weird or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, I, you know, I credit them for helping me fully um, engage into a character, which is something that I thought I was doing before until there's definitely a change from the first movie to the series to the second movie. Um, You can definitely tell uh, how much more engaged I was as Dylan throughout the course of, you know, our film history. I can't even begin to think of one single memory with the cast. I feel like there's so many and we've become so close that, you know, I consider Ricardo, Brie, Abby and Al like my family. Um, There's definitely been so many um, random funny moments that have happened on set. I think most of them surround like me being clumsy and everybody just kind of like Rolling off of that, there was in the last movie we were filming um, the army crawl last scene in like the big, um, the beach master. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were rehearsing and Brie was crawling in front of me and I was crawling behind her and the director yelled cut, but I didn't hear that they yelled cut. So I kept crawling and Brie kept crawling and all of a sudden she stopped and I kept going and her foot just went right into my eye. Um, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, most of the the crazy things that happen on set are either me being clumsy or somebody's singing or doing something. But yeah, I feel like I was always injured on set, which became like a running joke throughout the two years that we filmed about the rescue. What's a good secret that I could actually say out loud? Um, <laughs> right before uh, we started filming, I want to say it was the series. It wasn't the first movie. I th- yeah, it was right before we did the series. It was um, a couple weeks or months after we finished the first movie. We're like, hey, we're about to be filming with each other for like six months straight. Let's get to know each other better. 
So we all decided um, it would be like a fun icebreaker to go to Six Flags together because all of us loved roller coasters. Um, so we get to Six Flags and everyone's really excited and we all kind of split up and go on different rides. And Bree and I decide to go on some ride and Ricardo is standing in line or somebody was standing in line watching us. And so they like strap us in and we're ready to go and they're counting down and right before they get to one, um, mine and Bree's handlebars fly up. And like everybody started screaming and I'm pretty sure like Ricardo who was standing in line was screaming at everybody to like make sure that they stopped the ride because we were about to start the ride with our handlebars not on. <laughs> um, which was definitely a very scary experience. Uh, they tested the ride and we ended up, you know, working out later that day. We were going on different rides and eventually I got heat like stroke and I passed out as we were walking to a ride and Ricardo had to carry me down like this a huge flight of stairs that we just spent like 30 minutes walking up. He carried me down the stairs and had to find like a paramedic who was just like walking around. And then they were like wheeling me around Six Flags uh, for the rest of the trip. And then I went home and I kind of ruined the trip for everybody. Again, I feel like it all revolves around my clumsiness, but yeah, we almost died at Six Flags. I guess that's kind of a secret. I stole my chair backs like with Mal the Rescue and then it says like my name on them. I stole them from the very first movie, which was originally called Riptide. So I just have like this random chair back that says Riptide and nobody knows what Riptide is. Um, and then I have my second one from the series. I really wanted my captain's jacket. So I'm working on that. I'm still trying to get in touch with somebody to steal that. Um, I feel like I didn't steal anything else. Oh, I stole a pair of shorts that I really liked. Like these jean shorts that I wore during the series. I feel like I should have, you know, stolen some more stuff, but I only thought about the shorts. We all uh, keep in contact as much as possible. We probably FaceTime once a week. Um, and then I do have a YouTube video with Ricardo coming out this Saturday, um, which I'm very excited about. That was the first time Ricardo and I have seen each other in what feels like a million years, but it's probably only been a year since we wrapped. Um, and, you know, I was super excited to see him and we kind of talked about what he's been doing next and he has, you know, some exciting news. So it was definitely just fun to catch up and I'm excited for um, people to kind of see us together and see our dynamic off of set because it's pretty similar to like a brother sister relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and we got to play a little bit, a little bit of a game. So who knows, like which cast member better? Um, I wouldn't put your money on Ricardo. If you guys are gonna watch, but it's definitely uh, entertaining. And yeah, we got to put our, you know, memory to the test. I definitely want to eventually, when everything is kind of normal again, to get the whole cast together and just have like a normal day of what we would do together if we weren't filming. Um, I started a series on there where I like I reviewed restaurants that I go to a lot. I'm a huge foodie, so definitely um, there's going to be a lot more cooking videos and like baking tutorials and stuff like that. Um, I've also gotten into makeup, so a couple more like makeup tutorials. Um, but yeah, I also want to get into interviewing uh, a lot of the crew from Mal Rescue because they have crazy backstories and the creators of the show and the writers and the director they're all amazing people so i definitely want people to hear the origin story of mal rescue from you know the people who created it themselves so that's definitely going to be coming soon i think of uh, the roles that i'm doing now differ from dylan um mainly just because these are older characters i would say i feel like i'm still playing you know my same age range like 16 to 18. um but it's just like a little bit more mature content, which I'm excited to kind of get into. Um, and yeah, I think Dylan and Mal Rescue obviously are very kid friendly and so are my upcoming projects, but definitely have um, a more mature side to them.